Two complaints have been lodged against Victorian schools who are being accused of bringing politics around the voice referendum into classrooms. One of the matters raised with Senator Sarah Henderson prompted the Liberal member to request an address with students about her support for the No campaign. When a constituent told Sarah Henderson about his son's school's views on the referendum, the senator decided to take action. A father had raised concerns that the school had taken a particular stand and so I approached the principal. In early August, the Victorian senator asked the principal of St Joseph's College, Geelong, if she and prominent No campaigner Warren Mundine could address students. They came and they spoke. We had about 150 mostly senior boys and a handful of staff. Afterwards, the school invited Deputy Prime Minister and local MP Richard Miles to explain the government's position on the voice to Parliament to schools. Five kilometres away, at Geelong College, a similar event headlining Senator Henderson and Mr Mundine raised concerns. The principal, Dr Peter Miller, told Sky News there were some in our community who objected to the presentation, so the school invited the Yes campaign to present in a similar format. Issues over impartiality and balance have also been raised involving at least one state school. Sky News has obtained a letter of complaint from Sandringham MP Brad Rosewell to the State Education Minister Natalie Hutchins. Sky News has chosen not to identify the school so that the complainant remains anonymous. The letter says principals have informed teachers they are to distribute a handout supporting a yes vote, arranged briefings, requested advice about non-attendance, directed teachers to place yes stickers on notice boards and walls, whilst no briefings about the case for a no vote were offered. Minister Hutchins declined an interview request with Sky News but was asked at a news conference alongside the Premier about the complaint. I'm not aware of a, a con particular complaint but there, have been, there has been a lot of correspondence. Her office later told Sky News they'd received the letter but chose not to follow up because it was sent by an opposition MP. We encourage our schools uh, where they're having uh, this as a current affairs issue uh, being, being discussed in their classrooms to discuss both sides of the referendum. There are teachers that are actively campaigning on either side in their own spare time. But after her department issued guidelines to schools last month, Premier Daniel Andrews made clear he expected them to follow the rules. There are rules and the guidance and I don't know that it was sparked by any particular incident, it's just a topical issue because we're having a referendum and we don't have one of those every year. Former secondary school teacher and outgoing state Liberal MP Matt Bark believes schools must teach both sides of the debate and not take a stance. If anybody in schools is seeking to push kids one way or another on the voice, that's totally inappropriate. Some schools have chosen to take a side in the debate. Melbourne's independent Xavier College is for yes, as are all Jesuit schools. I don't think we're trying to be balanced. We are trying to be fair and uh, respectful of difference and encourage our students to um, think about it, to be informed, to know um, the reason some people oppose it and to not dismiss that as racism. Simon Love, Sky News.